Hi, this is Sabrin from FEFOO and I decided to make a short video today to talk about the shell element orientation. So this is a topic which is uh, quite easy to understand but some of you uh, maybe forget about it or maybe don't know about it so uh, so this is important to remind uh, remember about it and I decided to create a very simple shell model to show you how it works. So here it is. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is that I'll generate uh, I'll generate to the shell mesh for this with a property of a plate of one millimeter alloy steel. And uh, what I want to do is to apply a uniform pressure on this side and the other side, let's say it's symmetric. Uh, and then fix it uh, on the bottom. So let's uh, do that. So uh, let's first apply the pressure. Um, go here to the face, select everything and 0 0.001 uh, Newton by millimeter square. Okay. Now let's say that I don't really care about the visualization of this pressure and I even hide it in order to, to make the visualization faster. So now I applied this. Uh, let's apply, uh, let's first fix uh, this. So as this is symmetric I only need to fix X and Z here. Apply and let's select all the uh, all the nodes on this face and apply the symmetric condition okay now i define my properties so i can do a linear static analysis and basically uh, solve that okay it's done and I get something like that. So deformation of two millimeter, uh, let's increase the deformation, something going outward. And this is very strange, right? Because I apply the pressure uh, which should compress uh, the shape, but I get a deformation which is external. And this is one of the typical mistake that some of people who don't check the shell orientation uh, will will be prone to do. So let's come back to preprocessor and let's activate the pressure load. And now you see that something strange here. Uh, on all these faces, the pressure is oriented towards the interior of the shell model, but on the inner face here, it is oriented in a di different direction. And this is probably due to the fact that uh, the or Z orientation of the shell is not oriented correctly on this face. So normally uh, the, the preprocessor should orient it uh, in the same way, but it happens that you have this kind of problem. And let's see how to, to, to check that. So first of all, I'd like to activate the display of the element coordinate system. So it's, it looks like a mess, but you have to look closer like that. Let's rotate the model. Uh, it's not so easy to visualize like that, but you can see that the normal uh, in blue should be going from the inner face to the uh, outside. But on the face here, it's in the opposite direction. So it means that the, the orientation of this face here is not correct. So let's change that. Let's go in the parameter 2D. So obviously in the software I'm using uh, Midas and FX, it's like that, but uh, if you're using another software, you may uh, also have an option to change this and you have an option reverse normal 
and it's done. So now if I look on the other side, yeah, it looks like everything is uh, in the same direction. So let's just hide again that. So it looks better. Let's activate again the pressure. Now you see pressure is rather consistent and applied everything. So let's again run the analysis. Okay, and now we get a deformation which is going uh, inward. Uh, this is the stress deformation. Um, so it's a quite obvious example and everyone looking at this video will think, yes, obviously, you should have seen that the, the, the sign of the pressure was not in the right direction. Yes, of course, because I'm, I did this model just to, to show you the problem. Sometimes it's not so obvious. Uh, you have thousands of uh, faces in your model and when you have to patch every of, every of those faces together, it happens that some small faces are oriented in opposite direction and you don't see it and then you get strange results on some parts of your model so it's extremely important to uh, to always think about uh, checking the orientation of the model and even sometimes it happened uh, to me that uh, I'm doing a thermal analysis and I get similar kind of problem and I get very strange temperature on some parts of the model and gradients and after checking all that I realized that it was also a problem of the normal which was not oriented in the right direction. So always check the orientation of your shell model. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.